He's an amazing horse and, and you, you spend your whole life looking for a freak of a racehorse. And he's um, been so exciting to be a part of. He was basically like a special needs child and uh, that had all this talent, but nobody knew it. And he was at the racetrack and he would freeze coming out of the stall every day and run backwards and, and sort of was misunderstood and would run, you know, shake his rider loose and run down the track. And every time he ran, he would unseat his jockey two or three times on the way to the start. And we were able to, um, well, we claimed him sort of not knowing that he had all these idiosyncrasies and we brought him back and we almost gave up on him a few times. He jumped the partition of the trailer, he ran, it, ran down the road, got um, injured sliding 30 feet on the pavement. I mean, he just was, uh, we took him to Fair Hill and he lost his jockey and jumped into the crowd uh, running through uh, the stands. And, um, but anyway, um, at age four, after we'd had him for about a year, um, we got this young rider, amateur rider named Eric Peretz, and the two of them together, and my wife doing a lot of the early schooling, and we just kind of figured him out, and uh, and it became magic ever since. And he's won uh, two Grand Nationals, two Maryland Hunt Cups, and he's going for his third, and uh, he had a great prep on Saturday. So one of the neat things about this horse was he was considered one of the most dangerous horses at the racetrack, like you couldn't get around. So all the um, veterinary crew and so on, when he would go to the races before he ran, it's marked on a sheet at every major racetrack in the United States to stay away from him and don't even try and get near his legs or identify him because he's that dangerous. It's just so exuberant, uh, you know, that when he's at the races and he's a little bit claustrophobic. And so we figured that out and uh, like we couldn't get a bridle on him at the races, so we put the bridle on ahead of time. And when he travels in a horse trailer, the minute we get to the races and he hears the loudspeaker, he has to get out. Like we have it staged so that the, someone's there at the ramp to let him down because otherwise he will explode out of the trailer.